Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an ASOS haul. I bought a couple of sort of summery sort of pieces. Obviously summer's coming up around the corner, so I thought I'd buy a couple of pieces from ASOS. Sort of just do a little ASOS haul for you guys and just um, sort of do like a little try on and, and give you my, uh, my review of the items that I picked. So might as well just jump straight into the video. So the first item that I've got for you is this dress. Bring it closer so you can see it. So it is like a little jersey dress. It's sort of just a strap, sort of skater style, I think is what they had on there. Um, they've got these like fake wood kind of effect buttons down the front, which you can undo. So you can undo those. Um, and they've just got sort of got like a little seam going down each side here. And the straps are also adjustable. So I will pop it on and we'll see what we think of this one. This is what it's like on. I got this in a size 12. I think it is actually quite big. You can see there, I haven't adjusted the straps or anything yet. But you can see that it is quite big. Like I'll come a bit closer. It's quite a bit of room on the back as well. But it is, yeah, so it is quite big. I, I'm not mad about it, I don't love it. It is definitely nice and flowy, so it's perfect for the summer, 100%. And I quite like the little button details going down the front, but it's definitely too big, so I'll probably go down a size, maybe even two in this. Um, I am usually like a size 12 anyway, but I do have the difficulty of sometimes it being too big on top, but quite, and that's quite normal for me. Um, I'm very pear-shaped, so in order for it to fit my hips, I usually have to go a size up but a size 12 tends to be okay but this yeah this is definitely a bit too big and I probably have it just a little bit more fitted at the top um, it'd be definitely interesting to see what a size 10 would be like I wonder if it would be too tight then on the top I'm not mad about it though like it's quite it's a really cute dress and I can see different ways of styling it like you could put a nice big t-shirt underneath and like sort of wear it during the autumn times as well um, it sort of does just yeah go past my hips really nicely which is, is nice and the button detail let me come a bit closer so you can see the button detail is really nice I do quite like the buttons um, and it's just a very easy sort of slip on dress so I'm not I'm not mad about it to be fair but it's definitely the fit's not 100% if it's just a little bit more fitted is this one which is like I feel, I feel like this is going to be too big for me as well just like not really there so it's like off the shoulder it's got the little sleeves as well um it's got a little tie for the waist so that you can cinch in the waist and um it's in like a nice little polka dot green polka dot which is cute but i am just seeing as well actually that the front is longer like if i hang it up like this can you see there if I turn it round, so the sh back is a lot shorter than the front, which makes absolutely no sense because you've got a bum at the back, so surely they'd have more fabric at the back, but so I don't think this is going to look very nice. Eva, let's just try this one on. So this is the dress on. It is way too big. Again, I got this in a size 12. Like, maybe I'm kidding myself. Maybe I'm not a size 12 anymore and I've gone down a dress size, but... Usually I, I get, usually a size 12 is fine, but this is absolutely huge. You can see at the back it like drapes. So again, the sizing is a bit difficult. But um, the sleeves are quite comfortable. Because, oh God. Because they've got the elastic in. So they are quite comfortable, but it does like, I don't know if it's just because it's too big that it's just kind of scary. Like it feels like I could just slip out at any moment. Um, I like that you can tie it and cinch it at the waist. I like that. I like the pattern of it. The pattern's quite cute. The colour's really nice. The drape is really beautiful. It is longer at the front. If I just turn to the side, hopefully you can kind of see that. Um, but like the whole style of the dress is really, really cute. If it fit. Uh, I like the sleeves. They sort of bellow out at the, at the bottom, which is really nice. But... Um, 
yeah, I'd be very curious again with this one to see what, how it would fit in a smaller size and it being tight here because this kind of feels like, if I just do this, you can see how like big it is at the top. It's just massive. So it just feels like it's gonna like fall out at any, at any moment. Any given moment I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna pop out of this. Um, which isn't great. The next dress is this one. This is an off the shoulder kind of style. It's got like a nice little flappy bit at the top, kind of like a peplum style on the uh, neckline. And these cute little tortoiseshell sort of buttons. Very cute. And um, again, like a nice sort of, yeah, in at the waist and then flowy skirt. Perfect for pear shapes. Let me pop this one on. It's cute. Yeah, I actually really like this. Really girly for me to be fair there. But this is what the dress looks like on off the shoulder. You could also kind of wear it on shoulder and like give you a bit of like a square neckline. Okay, so my battery just died, so if the angle of the camera is a bit different, that's why. Um, so yeah, this is how this dress looks. I was just saying, I don't know where it cut off before, but you could actually wear it like this on your shoulder and give it kind of like a square neckline, which is kind of cute as well. And really like nice for anyone that is the same as me, like a pear shape. It kind of just like gives your shoulders a bit more of like a width. Cause obviously this part then fluffs out and um, really balances out your shape really nicely. But um, it does then bring the waistline up higher. So there is that, but um, how it looks normal with it off the shoulder which is so cute this is actually really cute oh i love this it's a really nice fabric as well it's like a jersey um is it, is it? it's 100% cotton asos own this isn't a size 12 this fits nicely um yeah, it's just like the right kind of fit. It's not too tight, it's nice and snug. It finishes at the right length as well. It finishes like just above the knee. It floats out perfectly. Genuinely would really recommend this for anyone that is like pear shaped and has like bigger hips and really struggles with summer dresses. I really, really struggle with, yeah, with any sort of summer dress really because I just find that they are either too tight here or they just don't really complement my body shape that much. And I've just found that anything that's like skater style-esque sort of thing, anything that's got a flowy skirt, that's sort of like A-line or just like a lot of fabric where it just flows, works really well because it kind of just skims past your hips and you want it to come in at the waist because it's your smallest part. So you really want to emphasize that and show that part off. But this is really cute. So cute. This is like cute like picnic parties and like or like garden party oh it's so sweet i love it i really like this one right next is this one this is from miss Guided. this is like a sweetheart neckline um i think this is the dress that's a sweetheart neckline i got this i got them all in a size 12 by the way so you can really see the emphasis of like the different styles Yeah, this is misguided. It's got it's like a black sort of yeah. It's got flower print on it. They had little buttons down the centre. I don't know if you can or cannot see them. Um, let's try this one off. Also, by the way, the first two dresses were also from ASOS. Just to get that out there. Um, so yeah, let's put this dress on. So this is the misguided dress, and I can tell you now, it's really uncomfortable. Like really uncomfortable. The fabric is, is a quite stiff one. So it's not the most like, yeah. I mean, I feel like I need to hold my shoulders up to hold the sleeves in place, because there's like a lot of room up here. The elastic's not that strong to kind of keep it on your shoulder, so I do feel like, you know when you feel like you kind of have to raise your shoulders up to hold something in place. And the boob area, like, because there has got like a seam, I really don't know if you can see that, but there's like a seam there for like your boob, like a boob cup, 
and it's way too small like the ratio of boob to shoulder length is just crazy and oh, I just don't this is really uncomfortable the sleeves are not comfortable because there's just absolutely no stretching probably looks kind of cute but it's not comfortable and anything that's not comfortable is just not worth wearing there's no point um, and also the fabrics kind of like it's just not sitting very nicely and I just yeah I feel like it's kind of slightly twisting I don't know yeah it is kind of twisting because when I'm looking down I can see that this center seam where it's got like the buttons going down is kind of going off to the left so not cute at all it's a cute neckline I do quite like the neckline I think it's cute but um it's really uncomfortable and the shoulders are just off and it's if I was to relax, I can feel immediately as I'm relaxing that this shoulder is like gonna fall off my neck, my, my neck, it's gonna fall off my shoulder. And like, there's loads of space here on the bust, but it's like tight here. So the cut just isn't really working for me. So this one's a no from me. Um, next up, I've got this top. This is from Collusion. Collusion. And I've also got, it's like a puff sleeve kind of-esque. You can cinch in right here at the center, at the center front. Um, yeah, this is cute, it's cropped as well, very cute. And then I'm gonna try it on with this skirt, which is from ASOS. Um, it's just kind of like one of those skater skirt styles. Uh, it's got a nice little br brown buttons down the center front and a little tie that you can tie at the back. Very, very cute. So I'm going to try those on together and just give you a little, little review of that. Get this, this dress is horrific, by the way, so I just really wouldn't recommend it. Oh. Oh my boy. It's so cool. So you can kind of see my nipples through this top a little bit, but I've ruched it up enough that I'm hoping that you can't. So if you can, let's all just be adults about it and um, just ignore my nipples, guys. Please. And thank you. I think I've ruched it enough. This outfit is so cute. I freaking love it. This skirt is adorbs. Just really really nice and flowy it feels really like freeing and liberating it feels like it'd be nice and cooling for the summer as well like you just wouldn't really be hot it doesn't feel like it would stick to you like in all the horrible places when you wear some skirts it's really hot and humid it's just gross uh, this top as well can we just like just have a minute for this top because I actually really like it I like the puff sleeves let me come a bit closer so you can see I'm getting kind of like milkmaid vibes, that's the fucking word I'm looking for. Milkmaid vibes, and I've really ruched this up, obviously, so that it kind of creates some sort of ruching here so you don't see my nipples, because you can see my nipples through it. Um, but actually, it looks quite cute like that. And with the skirt, like, this is really, this is really cute. This is cute, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. The skirt's really, really nice. The fabric's like quite soft as well. It's like soft to touch. Um, it is. It's viscose, so it is. Yeah, it's nice and soft. Uh, the buttons are cute. The tie at the back is nice. It's also really nice as well because personally, what I really like um, are skirts that have like just a straight band like this. Anything that's got like elastic here and ruches here, I actually feel like it kind of takes away from your waist and actually makes you sometimes appear bigger. Whereas when you have this kind of clean sort of straight waistband with like a, and it just drapes off like that, like that clean line is, is a lot more flattering than like when you get the elastic skirts where they've got the elastic band here and it's got all that ruching at the waist like that to me it doesn't look as cute but this it stops at like a nice place as well it's like just above the knee it's not too short I really don't like short skirts especially because I've got like quite a big bum and big hips so I always find that anything that's really short I just feel like I'm constantly really self-conscious and like my butt's on show and like I constantly like pull my skirt down and stuff whereas this I don't feel 
economy. I don't feel like I have to do that with this skirt, which is nice. And the top, I'm just really liking the top, to be honest. I feel like it really is just doing the right things for my body shape in the sense of like giving the illusion that I'm a bit more broader on top than I actually am. So it's just balancing out everything really nicely. This is such a cute outfit to end on, actually. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with these, like with these two pieces. If there was anything that I would keep, because I'd keep three out of the six, which is quite good, right? Because I'd keep this this dress. I think I might keep this one actually. I might keep these three pieces because this dress is great. It's really comfortable, and I can just I can see myself wearing it a lot, which is good. And I don't really have any summer dresses, and I've got. You know like I've got the summer coming up and we're going away to Portugal again this summer um, we're going away for two weeks and I really I literally don't have any summer dresses because I've thrown all of them out so this one would be a cute addition and I really like this top and this skirt and I can see myself wearing this skirt a lot wearing it with little camis or just vests just like nice plain t-shirts and this top would look really nice as well with jeans for like a bit yeah, this top would go really nicely with jeans. It's really comfortable, it sits nicely. I don't feel like I have to move, like keep adjusting the shoulder or anything like that. It's really, really comfortable. Um, this, this dress was an absolute epic fail. I just don't recommend it to anyone at all. So just don't, don't bother getting that one, guys. Um, and then these two are just too big. Like they're just way too big. This green one as well, like it's quite heavy. Like it feels heavy. Um, could be because there's a lot of fabric there, God knows, but they're just way too big and just, um, yeah, these, these are just a no from me this time, I'm afraid. They are cute, but just, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe if they were the right size, I'd probably prefer them, but no, these are going to all go back easily. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I will see you next week with another one. Thanks, bye.